For you to work more efficient as a VFS artist using Blender, there are three things you need to know. The first one is render parties. The second one is render layer. And the third one is scene collection. And these three things work in collaboration with each other. And you need to know where they work, why they work, and when they work, if that makes sense. So first thing I want to show you now is where can we find all those things. Right here in this right corner here, you can see we have this scene collection. A lot of people just see this and just have their scene collection set. You can see when you add object, you have this in the collection. You can see we have another scene in the collection. But this scene collection has more settings and effects that you might not even know about. So the second one is render layer. And the render layer we can find this here as a view layer. So we have one render layer. When you click here, you can see that we have one render layer here. Alright, and you can add as many as render layers you need. Depend on your need. Okay. So the third one is render passes and where you can find this render passes when you click here you can see that we have here in the view layers we can see the passes now in these passes we have a lot of varieties of things here going on in this place so for the first one we have the data pass the second one we have the light pass and the third one we have the crypto mask or effect and it, or and it depends on the render settings you have so for us to work more better with this we need to be in the cycles and you can also do this with ev if you mind but all these things work very perfect with cycles so and they are really they are really even made for cycles so when you go back to this render view layer we can see the passes again and we can see that we have varieties of render passes here you can see there are a lot of passes here so i might not even be able to show you all the settings here and what they do but you will have the knowledge and why you must use them okay so let's start so for the first thing let's add a plane here just for the reference add a plane so i want to scale this up a bit and click on this cube then drag this up okay this is up and when you just tap the camera view, we can render this. Okay, so the first thing I want to do now, I just set my render to cycles. It's in cycles already, you can see. And I'll just change this to GPU compute so I can work more efficient. Okay, we're having this in this scene, like always. You can see that this scene is just an ordinary scene you can see but it has a lot of passes that combine with this scene so when you click here you can see that we are in combine in the scene so when you check here in these passes you can see the combine is ticked and this combine makes all this effect you can see right here the light pass shadow everything is combined and make a scene okay so when you just click here go to combine you can check all the render passes you can see that it's named as render passes so when you see here, you can see we have a lot of passes right here. So we can check the emission. You can see the, we have no emission in the scene. So if you want to see how this works, and you can see that it's very, very accurate, you can add an emission source to the scene. So let's add a sphere, then scale it down a bit. So I'll drag it back to where the shadow is. Okay, then I will go to the materials here then i will add a new material so i will give this an emission material so i can just change the color to red so you can see that now we have an emission so when we go back to the passes here you can see when we check emission we have our emission pass because this is the only light source that emits light into the scene apart from the light that blender has for us so that is an, it's not an object so we can't have that as a selective object just a symbolic light source but this is a light source that is an object so we have it in the passes okay 
so for the background it depends on the background of the hdr you are using and there's a lot we have the ambient occlusion you can see where the ambient is the soft shadows that is cast around our object depending on where the light is coming from and we have the shadows we have everything diffuse light i'm not going to go into this light pass for now but i'm going to show you pretty much what you really need and when you need them and how you really need them okay so when you click here you can see that we have our render here so for this light source maybe we don't want to render this together with the scene for some reason you can put this in a collection itself so when you press m you can add in your collection so you can just click on it then give it a name or anything you want so we have an emission which is a light that emits to this so we have it in the light scene so you can toggle this on and off depending on what you want so if you really want this light to be separate in the scene you can separate that and if you don't really want it in this view layer at all you can do that and this is where we have view layer and which is the render layer comes in so when you click here you can add a new layer and it's already it's a scene and because it's a layer it differentiate between the scene and the other so when you just click on new you can see that it's the same scene and the same setup so now you can just uncheck what you don't want in this scene so if you don't want this plane we don't see it and if you don't want this keyboard so we don't see it so when we go back to this first scene you can see everything is back to normal and if you don't want this loud in this scene you can switch it off and then you go back to here you can see the light and come here you can have the scene but if you render this and do the composite you see that we don't have the light back in the scene so let me quickly show you that so let's render these two scenes. Let me just go back and give this light. Okay, let me just do a quick render. Let me just reduce the dimension. You can see that the first render of our layer, when you check there, we have the layer and we have the light you can see that we also render everything together and the reason why this happens is that when we check this light source we only off it in the eye view you, you can see that it's still on in the renders so that is what you should put in mind first so now when we check and check this we don't have it and we don't see anything that comes in there and also you can just toggle this off from the cube toggle it off and off the render also but instead of doing that you can just off here and everything should be gone okay so let's re render this and see exactly what we are getting okay so you can see that all these things work together we can see that we don't really have anything in the scene again because we switch it off so when you come back to this layer, you can see we have our scene and because we only switch it off, we don't have other things rendering for us. So you must put these things in mind because that's where things get missed and you don't really understand what is going on again. So check this and check this and if you really want to hide them totally, what you can do now is to click on this object and put it in another collection like let's just say geo okay so for this now you can off it in this collection and when you go back to this main layer you have it now let's render so now before you do that if you render this scene you can't composite this scene because we have the word already with it so we can't compose it with the wall so we need to make something like an alpha for it so let's go back to this render settings settings here when you scroll down we have something called film and everybody know this just click on transparent so we have like an alpha for this 
So when you okay, render this now again, I have our render done. Now we can see we have when you check this layer, we have the view layer, which is the normal layer, and we have the light where the light source is. So when you just go to the composite here, now we can do the compositing. Click on use notes. So I don't really need this view, I'll just toggle it down like so. So now when we have this layer, we need to duplicate this this render layer so when you just come down here just tick here then change it to the light so when you view this now we have our normal background and we have the light so what we can do now is to just add both together so I want to really show you something very nice so when you just click here put the color the alpha over then we add both together and view it this is what we get you can see that this is not the really first output we get in the scene and this is our output in the composite so this is not the exact way of doing composite and everything really goes wrong and you might look at ah, what is really going on with this thing so I will show you exactly the best way of doing something like this okay so for this to work like we have everything compact in the same scene like here if you really want to have it like this we need to go back to this light source and enable back our view so after doing this we need to click here on this option then come back to view layer and make sure we set this to hold out you can see that now we have this as a hold out so when we go back to our main layer we need to set the light also go to the view layer settings now we can set this as indicator only not that so we can see that we don't have the light object in the scene but we have the reflection of the light in the scene this is how you do compositing so let's give this sorry let's give this a render once again So now when you match them together, you can see that we are getting the same output like our 3D. Let me just reverse this just to show you that, that it is correct with this. You can see. You can see. Alright, so this is just a demo for you to see. And if you are if you're done watching this video, the next one will be we are working on on this project you can see so I'm going to show you more in depth of what render passes are and where you need them why you need them and how to use them so thanks for watching guys I'm gonna see you guys in my next video